Hello. So I want to do an update on my passion fruit experiment. So some time ago, I bought a few passion fruit from Sprouts and I separated the seeds from the pulp and I have this in another video. And then I got a bunch of them to sprout. I think I got somewhere around a hundred or so little passion fruit seedlings. And I kept them in the house in a sunny window all winter. And I think by the end of summer, I had maybe 20. And then I put them all outside because I'm kind of doing an experiment to see if I can create a new um, variety of passion fruit that survives in the Arizona summer. And so now I'm down to two seedlings and they seem to be thriving so far in the Arizona summer. So I might have created a new um, variety. So we'll see what happens. See if I can actually make it through the summer. So I wanted to show off those two that survived. Thanks for watching. And I should clarify, when I say summer, I mean April in Arizona, so it's 100 degrees already. Anyway, here's one of the ones that I planted. I have, it has a lot of cover. So as you can see, there's grapevines right behind it. <clears throat> it's already forming a secondary leaf there. A trilobed secondary leaf. Has a lot of cover. I'm hoping that that'll help moderate the temperatures. And it seems to be doing fine. It's completely green. There's no like, yellowing or anything. So that's my front yard one. Seems to be thriving. That's from seed. And then I have this one. This is also from seed, from the same batch, from the same passion fruit. And of course, all the plants are going to be genetically slightly different, which is perfect because I'm trying to rely on natural selection to eliminate genetics that aren't optimal for Arizona. So if I can get something that thrives aggressively in Arizona, then I'll have what I'm looking for. So this is my other one. As you can see, there's a trilobe leaf.